Hello, Hateless Gaming here. Uh, today I'm going to bring you guys a uh, quick kind of how to learn how to do mission running. Uh, kind of quick tips and tutorial, I guess, on level 4 mission running. And uh, I'm going to be streaming it for the next couple days as I have to grind standings for my Jita alt so that I can get better tax values uh, while trading in Jita. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is, uh, today I got a random mission that I've pulled. Uh, we're going to go run it, and it's one that I'm actually not familiar with, as I don't normally run near Jita, and I have a mission that I know I've done in the past, because I recognize the name, but I also haven't done it in a very long time. Uh, so I'm going to kind of take you through the process of how I deal with missions that I'm unfamiliar with, uh, and hopefully give you guys some quick tips uh, for mission running uh, as we go ahead and run through a mission myself. Uh, anyways, without further ado, uh, we have my character, uh, Hitless2112 here, who is my Jita alt. I have the mission called a Wildcat Strike, and we have a cat. So we got a Wildcat Strike with a kitty, and oh my dear, does that cat like attention. Uh, anyways, we gotta go deal with this Wildcat Strike. Uh, it's a random mission. Uh, mission agent tells you what to do. Uh, I'm not really concerned with what the mission agent has to say. I'm concerned with the title of the mission, which is the Wildcat Strike. Um, we're in a 1.0 security system. I don't care about the ISK for this. Uh, with mission running, you would look for you know better missions that pay more uh, would be the ideal thing. Um, but today we're only in it for standings, so I'm just basically gonna do everything. Um, Anyways, we want to look up this mission, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my monitor. I have it set up in such a way that we can go ahead and find Wildcat Strike. So what this webpage is, uh, is it's called EVE Survival Mission Reports. And if you Google EVE Survival Mission Reports, uh, it comes right up. Uh, it's the first thing that shows up. Uh, here's my Google search, EVE Survival Missions. Uh, I can kind of show you guys. It says EVE Survival Missions. I searched that, and it's the first thing. I also provide a link to this page uh, just below... Uh, in the video description. So we're looking for a wildcat strike. Uh, generally missions that start with the word A aren't in the A category. They move A to the end and sort it that way uh, so that you can actually find things, uh, missions that actually start with the word A. Uh, so we're gonna look for a wildcat strike uh, in W as it's called wildcat strike. Uh, so we find it, uh, we find the uh, Wildcat strike and it looks like the is the prefix and they just kind of move that to the end uh, And it looks like this mission only comes in level 4. However for lower level missions uh, This has all missions levels 1 through 5 uh, And it has a fairly detailed uh, rundown when you click on this it will take you to a page uh, detailing the mission uh, And it also has uh, breakdowns of different missions for the different factions uh, So it, it's intercept the saboteurs for blood raiders for example intercept the saboteurs for Mimitar Republic uh, depending on who you're fighting against and you can tell who you're fighting against by opening up your your uh, character again and seeing uh, there is normally an icon right here uh, in wildcat strike there's not actually an icon uh, so because there's no icon we're going to not have an icon uh, and that means that we don't know who it's against uh, so we're going to go find wildcat strike and is that Wildcat Strike? It's against Rogue Drones, is what it looks like. Uh, so it's telling me it's against Rogue Drones. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click this, and it gives me a quick uh, description of the triggers. Uh, it tells me what's uh, in a warp in, the initial spawn, the respawn, the second pocket, what's in there. Uh, some missions do also have images and or a video linked at the top on how to do the mission. Uh, which is pretty nifty uh and this one for example has a dot a links to a dominix and a Kaldari navy raven running it uh and it also tells you the um the type of damage to deal and the type of damage to um to tank so it says all types but explosive kinetic uh some em therm uh, and then it recommends that we deal em damage uh for the mission uh, and then it also will give you uh if there is a blitz it will tell you to um, how to blitz the mission as well. Uh, so this website's a really good way of having knowledge about the mission. I can't think of uh, missions off the top of my head 
that have images in this, uh, but I do know that some of them do have images that kind of explain where the triggers are, when the triggers matter. I think one is, it's my favorite, it's not Buzzkill, it's, I'm trying to remember what it is, and it is a mission that I like a lot, or it's, uh, the way the triggers are in it, and I can't remember which mission it is right now. I'm just kind of scanning through this real quick. Maybe I'll come across it. It's Gone Berserk. So I'm thinking Gone Berserk. So it tells you, uh, it kind of shows you an image of where the different triggers are and kind of how they are and how they uh, interact with each other. And it explains the triggers, which is really nifty. Uh, anyways, uh, we're going to go look at our Wildcat Strike mission again and... Um, check this out so the warp in we have a uh, uh, npcs 41 kilometers a respawn 25 kilometers all cruisers and frigates and then in pocket two uh we're going to get a message uh wait for the mining foreman to say he's given up uh, warp out uh, i'm not sure exactly how that works there's three groups no auto aggro meaning that they're not going to aggro me so uh that also gives me the tip to aggro left to right uh and that will stop the first group will also aggro the middle group uh, but not the other side. So if you shoot the left group first, the right one will not aggro. But shoot the right side first and the left will not aggro. Shooting the middle group will aggro both the left and the right groups as well. So it tells you like how the aggro is going to do. So if you actually read this, you'll get a pretty good idea of how to run your mission. Uh, so let's go ahead and go back in game. And uh, we're going to go ahead and accept this mission. Set our destination to the system where it's at. And then uh, the ship that I have today is the Makaria. Uh, this is my bare bones Mac fit. And it's basically a battery, uh, Pythium B-type shield booster, micro drive, two hardeners, a tracking computer, uh, three magnetic field stabilizers, three tracking enhancers, some capacitor controls, and a tractor beam with some auto cannons. It's a really simple fit. Uh, with my skills on this character, I get 763 DPS, uh, which is pretty solid. Uh, and then the falloff range is really nice on it uh, at 65 once this is uh, running. Uh, so we'll have pretty good application. Uh, it's going to go pretty well, and I'm going to kind of explain how uh, speed is really important for mission running. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit Control Space, as this is the first mission I've done uh, at this station. So I have a station here. I am going to immediately Control B and make an instant dock. And what this is going to do, uh, I'm going to make this in personal locations. I am in too many folders here. I uh, hit list 2112, so that's my personal folder. And then we'll go ahead and submit it there. And then so now I have an instadoc. Even fancier, I'd make the instadoc like over here or over here. Uh, as long as it's within this docking ring. Uh, and unfortunately in Poldari space, you can just barely see it, but there's a docking ring right here. Um, and you can tell why it's important to make them. As you see, people will come into the station uh, you'll see that they kind of drift into the instadoc and it kind of is slow and not safe to be drifting in the instadoc especially in your mission ship uh so another thing that would be nice would be an insta warp uh and this station has a pretty close to insta warp by going to kadoki uh, but that would be nice to have we don't have that set up uh, we're just going to go ahead and go towards our mission it's two jumps out uh, so i'm going to make a edit so that you guys don't have to watch me travel we'll go ahead and uh, give a couple safety tips uh, so, we always want to be watching local, uh, and it's not really to be afraid of everybody in local. Uh, we watch for people that are, you know, read to us, or people that have previously done something, or shown their hand that they uh, interact with people in ways that would get you killed. So you don't want to end up dying. Uh, so it's very important that you kind of keep an eye on local, uh, so that uh, you see potential threats come in. Uh, before, uh, just your first line of defense is, is being aware of local. It looks like I'm in the uh, in the mission system, so you do want to be uh, paying attention to local, as well as um, D scan, uh, and then the hotkey for D scan is V. And you want to set this up 360 uh, and 14 kilometers, and you are looking for combat probes. You hit V, and you don't see combat probes. You're 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 pretty solid. Uh, it looks like there's a Vargo running missions in here. Uh, and a Raven uh, Navy issue that also appears to be running missions. Uh, so as we land on grid, uh, we were uh, reminded that there's only one group here. I'm just going to lock up the closest ones and uh, go ahead and begin firing. 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and make sure that we have Republic Fleet EMP loaded, which we do. And we're going to go ahead and fire. So our priority is to kill this frigate as soon as we have it locked. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go for that first. And we kill the frigate first, it can't web us. And if it can't web us, we'll be okay. Uh, and if we think that they're going to get close, uh, what we would do is we would take our micro warp drive and we would just, you know, fly away. Uh, I believe this one's the frigate. I'm going to go ahead and fire it there. Uh, but what we can do to mitigate damage is we can just, you know, we can fly directly away and uh, turn on our micro warp drive and getting further away from the damage will mitigate damage. In this case, I kind of want to go a little faster, so I don't really want to go too far away. Uh, but generally, the further away you go from the NPCs, the less damage you'll take. Uh, and since the Macario goes around 1,500 meters a second with a micro warp drive, and the fastest NPC in a mission is right around 900 meters a second, burners excluded, um, it makes the Macario a really solid option uh, as it's you know faster than everything. And instead of dealing with um, instead of dealing with uh, getting caught, you can just run away from it. And it's a non-issue. So we're going to unlock all this here. Uh, you notice I, I locked up the frigates first. Uh, and some people will say, yeah, well, guns don't track. Uh, if they're flying right towards you, uh, you do full DPS. And then we're just going to pulse the, the repper as needed. Uh, we don't need it a lot. Uh, I'm going to turn our ship away. Because, you know, see they're getting at about the 20 kilometer range. We're just going to use our micro warp drive to get away. Uh, as it makes us faster than them. If we fly directly away, there's zero transversal, and we don't have to worry about tracking at all. Then again, we can kind of start going towards them again. We can shut that off. Uh, with all the extra cap on this ship, I'm I'm used to flying things that run out of cap so fast. It has a whole minute and eight seconds. It feels good. It, it feels really easy to fly. So I can shut that off. And just kind of start making our way towards the gate. Uh, we shut off our repper and our prop mod. We're doing pretty good. You just kind of kill the NPCs, and you know that's it's not that hard. Um, yeah. Uh, so what 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 we're doing, or the 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 thing that we're really taking advantage of, is the the low transversal when they directly approach us. Makes things really easy, uh, and then our range uh, makes us not take a lot of damage. And we just pulse the repper as necessary. There's not really much to note, uh, except we do want to watch our triggers and make sure that we don't spawn or draw the whole room. As if we draw the whole room, uh, our tank certainly can't handle it. Uh, and in this situation, there's only one group. Uh, but in the next uh, room, we'll be able to go ahead and show that off really well. Uh, go ahead and lock these guys up now. I believe... Do we not have to kill the turrets? We, we may be able to get away without killing the turrets. I'm going to start firing at them. Uh, and if we do have to kill them, all good, uh, but hopefully we don't. Uh, and I believe this fits cap stable running just the micro warp drive without the shield booster. Uh, which means that you can always run away should things start getting too close. Uh, the only issue that can happen is you can run yourself out of cap or try to run both the micro warp drive and the shield booster. And that, 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 that goes poorly. Uh, but we're in that gate ring now. We don't have to kill these turrets. We can just leave them alive. And so I'm not going to be coming back to salvage. If I was coming back to salvage this, it, uh, salvage this, it would be a good idea to clear the turrets. But I'm not here for the salvage. I'm here 100% for for standings. Uh, but you know, a little bit of iskies for killing the thingy. Not a bad idea, but considering I'm using faction ammo. Mm. Uh, anyways, uh, as the description said, uh, I don't know if you remember, but uh, we looked at a wildcat strike in the uh, description. And we saw that there were three groups, and we need to be careful of how they aggro. Uh, I just had a beep happen. And I don't think it was here. Uh, so if we shoot the one in the middle, we're going to pull the whole room. So we don't want to do that. We can shoot the guys on the left, and then we'll pull the middle. Or we can shoot the right guys on the right, and we'll also pull the middle. Uh, I'm going to go for the guys on the right, as those are three frigate or four frigates right there. Uh, and then, uh, since they're really close already, uh, me locking them will probably draw aggro. I'm just going to kind of burn away. Uh, and what this will do is it will uh, lower my transversal with them and allow me to hit them, uh, even with relatively poor tracking at 6.61 tracking. Uh, so we'll draw that. 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and kill these at about 40 kilometers. We can turn off our prop mod. Uh, we just don't want to let the frigates get too close. Because if they get too close, we run into issues. And then as stated, uh, we grab the middle group, uh, just like EVE Survival, unless we would. Uh, we are not flying directly away from the middle group. We're flying directly away from this one, making across to this group, meaning if we try and shoot this frigate right now, we're not going to have a good time. Uh, but I'm going to shoot the frigate that I'm flying directly away from. I'm going to kind of adjust my flight to be directly away from those guys. Or we can hit control space and just completely stop, and they'll be flying directly towards us. We'll lock up those frigates. Lock up that frigate. Now we have transversal on them. We'll lock up some more targets. I think that's the frigate. I'm not sure. Maybe I didn't get it. Looks like I, I, I got it. I'm not sure which ones they are. Uh, the frigate's this one. I'm going to stop firing at whatever I'm firing at. Fire at the frigate first. As frigates web, and if a frigate webs you and is faster than you, it's going to hold on to you and make uh, getting the transversal uh, really difficult to do. Uh, or getting that, that low transversal really difficult. Uh, so we are kind of allergic to being webbed. Uh, we don't like it. Uh, and we're just going to kind of clear out the room now. At this point, we're in a good spot. Uh, and this mission is actually marked as complete. Um, they're telling me that they'll end this strike and uh, go back to work. And uh, that I've made my point. Uh, so I don't actually have to sit here and do this anymore. I kill all the frigates. Uh, the mission is actually done. Uh, but for the sake of the video, uh, we'll go ahead and finish clearing the group. Um, there's really not much else that needs to really be expressed. If you look up your missions uh, and you're aware of your frigates and where they're at and you're aware of your triggers, you're going to have a really easy time in missions. Um, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll make some more videos of examples of, of missions being completed as they're fairly simple. Uh, maybe if you guys in the comments want to tell me which missions you'd like to see more of or uh, which missions you'd like to see demonstrations of uh, and or which ships you would like to see me fly. Uh, I do have planned a, a Dominix. Uh, I have a minimum uh, skill point. Uh, Raven as well, uh, that can be flown for significantly cheaper as this is a faction battleship. Uh, so they're roughly a billion-esque. Uh, it's not the cheapest thing that I could fly, uh, but it is an effective pool, and I really like the Macario. It's probably one of the best mission ships, aside from uh, the Marauders. Uh, Submarauder, Macario, and Barkes are the two best mission ships. Um, another idea that I've had is doing a, uh, mission ship tier list, uh, which would be interesting as cost is a factor, uh, for how good a ship actually is. And you'd be surprised how good things like the Dominic's Craven actually end up being when you factor in cost. Um, that being said, guys, uh, make sure you guys fly fun. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my, uh, couple little mission tips here. Uh, basically the gist of this video is make sure you look up your, your, uh, your EVE survival mission report before you go run your mission so that you know what you're getting into. Uh, because 99% of running missions in EVE Online is knowledge of what you're doing. And if you know what you're getting into, uh, you're gonna have a lot better time. Uh, rather than if you don't know what you're getting into and you don't know your triggers, you're gonna you know, have a, a difficult time. You want easy, easy, lemon, easy, not difficult, difficult, lemon, difficult. Um, and uh, yeah, anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Uh, make sure you comment below. And uh, fly fun and continue bringing each other up. Post production Hateless here. Uh, I finished the mission. I'm returning to the station. Uh, I did mention in the beginning that we use uh, an Instadoc. Uh, the importance of this is we go to our location, we warp to that Instadoc. And when we land on the Instadoc, we'll be able to immediately dock up uh, rather than drifting towards the station. And it gives us a little bit of protection against being ganked and also. Allows us to dock up just a little bit faster, and over time, that extra, you know, 10, 30 seconds saved on each dock up does add up, especially when you start blitzing. Um, so I encourage you to kind of, you know, actually use your insta docs. Uh, that way, you also don't get bumped off. So I use an insta doc, and this guy did not. He's in a much faster ship than I am, and as he's in an Ibis. I'm gonna get docked up before we form. So, uh, yeah, use your insta doc, guys.